HSC TV and HSC News are public forums for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions expressed do not represent those of HSC schools or the Board of School Trustees. Bloom your grades this spring and summer with Club Z. In-home tutoring for all subjects, SAT and ACT prep by calling 317-482-CLUB. Today's announcements are sponsored by Kath and Shealy Photography. Class of 2019, schedule your upcoming senior pictures during the month of June and receive a free Urban Decay smoky eyeshadow palette, plus an extra 30 minutes of shooting time. Schedule your senior session now at leatherreasontosmile.com or at Hey Kath and Shealy. Good afternoon, HSC. I'm Paul Novoso. And I'm Alex McGraw here with your daily newscast for Tuesday, May 1st. The Launch Fishers High School Fellowship will be choosing students to participate in a week-long entrepreneurial boot camp. At the end of the boot camp, selected students will be interviewed to be placed with host companies for a paid summer fellowship that will run from June 12th to August 3rd. Apply by this Friday at the link below. And for more information, contact Marissa Pennington at the email below. Seniors, when you have made your absolute final decision regarding your post-high school plans, whether it is college, a vocation, or the military, HSC would like to recognize it. There will be a pennant on display in the CCA foyer celebrating your decision. The deadline to complete the Senior Future Plan Survey on Canvas is this Friday. Have you heard about the Ball State Entrepreneurship class? The registration night is tonight. Watch this quick informational video. Royal Students for Life is having a Mother's Day diaper drive this week to collect items for local mothers and babies in need. Bring baby items and money to your first period class or the boxes in the commons. Jake Fest is Sunday on May 6th from 12 to 3. This is a huge event on the HSC High School football field. There will be burgers, hot dogs, and walking tacos. We will also have a dunk tank, inflatables, a donating eating contest, raffles, music, and so much more. Bring your friends and family. HSC Beyond Me and several other student clubs are helping put on a book drive called One Kid, One Book. This will help start a library in Gambia. Donated books will then be given to Thwasain Institution, a nonprofit that promotes children's literacy, education, and community learning. Drop off your donated books in your first period teacher's room, in their book box, or in the library. There will also be a book donation booth at the tables during lunches by attendance. Our goal is to donate 2,000 books to the One Kid, One Book Initiative. With every book you donate, you're changing lives in Gambia. See Mr. Watson in B-166 for more details. The American life expectancy has been declining for more than two years now. Natalie and Jerry decided to look at a few reasons for this recent decline. Since 2015, the life expectancy in the country has dropped another year in a row. And according to some preliminary data for 2017, that decline is set to continue. The life expectancy rep re represents a basically estimate of how long a person can expect to live based on a variety of historical and social factors. It goes up and down over time. Recently, it's dipped a little bit in America, but 100 years ago, it was as low as 50, and in the Industrial Revolution, it was as low as 30. Government-wise, you could argue that special interest groups, lobbyists, food companies, want to make sure that their foods are represented. So the question is, are we eating healthy, or are we eating what these big corporations want us to eat? You could look at uh, Michelle Obama and the Let's Move campaign. If you look at, at first, when she started with that, it was like, we're not eating the right foods. And then the, 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 the lobbies got in there to also know that the kids aren't exercising enough. And so then now it's a Let's Move campaign where we all know if that were true, this multi-billion dollar uh, industry of fitness places, everybody would be fit. So that, that's a big question. And obviously the other thing with life expectancy that people talk about is the new opiate crisis. The steepest rise in mortality is among 25 to 34 year olds. And mortality from drug overdoses in that age group went up 50% from 2014 to 16. So that's, that's why we're seeing this, uh, this overall decline. An, an increase in the death rate among a younger person is going to affect the overall uh, death rate or life expectancy more than um, you know, the death of an older person. Until we start, you know, maybe eating more like a, you know, some of those European diets like the uh, Southern Europeans where, where they, they don't eat all the processed foods and they eat a little cleaner and they eat a lot leaner and they walk more, that's what's going to help our, our country out. But to have the government come in and tell us what we can and can't eat is un-American. People don't like that. That If you are close to someone who you think is at risk of overdosing, be sure that, that you've got the reversal agent handy. Narcan is the brand. It's available over the counter without a prescription, and it's really important to have that around. It's really quite simple to use. There's a this version of it that is a, a nasal spray, and if, if somebody's not overdosing, why uh, it doesn't do any harm at all. But if they are, it can save a life. And then encourage the individual to, to get treatment. Hardly anyone can recover from an opioid use disorder without treatment. Or to tax our beloved sugary products to make health care right, more affordable. You talk about the, 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 the tea party, 
I'll be throwing my M&Ms in the guy's reservoir. They start taxing these things. So. For HSCTV, this has been Jerry Fox and Natalie Manchin. And out of Finley with sports. The JV softball team lost to Mooresville in a close game 6-7. Ayanna Carner went 4-4 at the plate. Maddie Smith went 3-3. The varsity softball team went on the road and defeated number 3 Mooresville 9-5. Courtney Kokel was the winning pitcher and had excellent relief help from Olivia Butcher. The Royals traveled to Noblesville today at 6 o'clock HCC game. Now back to your main anchors. Emergency medical technicians, or EMTs, have a very important role in the medical field. Let's look at this segment from Carter and Finley to learn more about what they do to, from two students in the EMT training program right here at HSC. Here at HSC TV, we decided to talk with two students in JEL's EMT program to learn more about it. Yeah, so I joined the EMT program to get uh, hands-on exposure uh, in the medical field and also to get my EMT license so that I can work as an EMT uh, hopefully next year in college at IU and then also in the summers when I'm back at home. Not only because I want to be earning the EMT certificate, but because I know it's going to give me a head start into what I'm going to be seeing in my future. Um, we normally do skills like putting somebody in a backboard, splinting somebody's arm. It's so many different um, skills that we'll be doing. We also go to Eskenazi and we also go to St. Vincent's Hospital. And We can take vitals of people that are sick or injured or we can go to the shock rooms which are the areas where uh, critical patients are and we can just see the doctors at work, we can see surgery. My favorite thing about this program is that I get to have so many hands-on experience on the things that we'll be doing as an EMT, and I also get to learn things that I didn't know I was going to be able to. But it's so many steps getting to this process, and I think this is going to help me in my future because I will be going to medical school. For HSC TV, this has been Carter and Finley. That's all we have today, Royals. Have a terrific Tuesday. Good afternoon, HSC students. I've got a wonderful opportunity for you that involves a summer class that you can earn dual credit through Ball State in entrepreneurship. Tonight, we are having a registration night where officials from Ball State will be here to answer questions that you may have or to register for the class. I will also be there to answer any of the questions that you may have as well. But this is a wonderful opportunity for those who are interested in going into business or if you see yourself becoming an entrepreneur in your future, this allows you the opportunity to learn what it takes to be an entrepreneur by taking a 200 level uh, college class through Ball State. This class will meet twice a week during the summer starting on May the 30th. It will conclude by July 25th. Uh, it'll be held at the Ball State Center which is attached to the Launch Fishers building downtown. Tuition is discounted. Uh, it's only $350 to take the course. And again, you get to earn three college credits as well as high school credits. This course is open to any rising junior, rising senior, or 2018 graduates. So HSC students, if you're interested in this, please come to the CCA uh, tonight at 6.30 uh, we'll start at the gathering uh, stairs, and that way you can get more information as well as to register for this class. Don't forget to follow HSC TV on social media for more news and school updates.